Hello my dear friends, if you are an architect you are always trying to find a way how to become the success. You become an architect and now you have a question, what the next? That's real problem to find your way. In this video I will try answer all of your questions and I will try to guide you. We have an exceptions, however we will talking only about the main part of the architects. As you know architect is not just a profession, it is a life. That matter because we will talk mostly about your habits. The first block of this topic will be about the software. Do not think this is most important part, it is not. This part of your skill, one of the needed but not main one. One more thing, here I will give you some options. You shouldn't follow only the programs on my list. Here you will see only idea. You should know AfterCut or any software like the AfterCut, even if it's not top of the market. AfterCut drawings, it's like a classic, never will die. You should have the skills to read or this type of the drawings. This helps you become professional, don't let it out. The reason is AfterCut drawings have been done many buildings. You will meet these drawings at any stage of your long architect's life. I should say you should know how to use AfterCut as a user. It's the same as you should know and understand how to draw manually. Hard life is happening. East or West, BIM is the best. So this is a slogan of our generation. Without BIM you will have less chance to find a job in our life. Anyway, this is not an entrance ticket in architect's life. This is only part of them. On the market we have three leaders of the BIM, but in the world we have more options. However, they have pretty same principles. If you know one software, you will understand other software in the short time. Design is uh, one of the main parts of our life as an architect. Nowadays your design isn't only sketching on the paper, this is messing forms in 3D. 3D design is new generation of sketching and physical modeling. You can do it fast and you can get some data in the same stage. On the market you will find a hundred solutions, uh, here you can see three main ones. We can say this is the most popular and most important software of the 3D design. In the future 3D design software will get more part of architecture life, so you must know one of them to represent your idea. 3D design is the future, but 2D design will never give up. Graphical design is like a painting, one standing picture can do more than whole 3D model. As you understand, we should know how to make it. No one will check your model if you cannot it represent graphically. Draw diagrams, make a story, do analysis, all this part you should make it stylish. Of course, on the market Adobe Solution is the leader. But you can find another one, no matter which you will use, the matter is the result. Time to talk about the number one part of the my list, this is education. Education will give you more chances to success. I know how the student thinks, my teacher is too old to teach us, he doesn't understand anything, ah, such a sweet time. But they have knowledge. You should take all this knowledge, this is your ticket to be an architect. If you want to be an architect, you should have a license. To get it, uh, you must finish university. This is the main part of your way. This way will give you a lot of the benefits, which I will mention later on. Degree is your stage number one. After that, you can continue to get master degree or maybe even PhD. But all this way will start from degree. You may hate your uni, but if you will leave your education, you will lose a big part of your opportunity. Harvard University, MIT, Hong Kong University and many other what they have similar. Yes, online education. I'm talking about the free part. Education nowadays it's not the privilege to reach people. A lot of the knowledge now online and it's free. So take it, here you can see an example of the resources around the internet, how you can see we can continue to learn without going to uni. You can join some classes and you must be tuned to learn as much as you can. Online education will give you a chance to do it right now. This is professional knowledge. 
and fundamental one. Around the internet you will find a more specific tutorial like Udemy, Skillshare and many many other one. Even YouTube is your educational habit. If you are talking about the education, we have reasonable question. Do you need programming if you are an architect? And yes, I will say yes, you need to understand how it's working. If you're not planning to change your profession, it will be enough to know the basics, but you must understand how it's working. On the market we have two solutions, visual programming like a Grasshopper and Dynamo Coding. If you not want to go deeper on it, choose visual programming. If you want more, coding is your way. The second variant will bring another question, which program language you should learn. So here is the most popular languages, but I recommend you start from the C languages, especially C++ or C Sharp. It's not a simple way, but this way raises your strong skills. Anyway, this is up to you. Presentation skills is like selling your idea. You should focus everyone on your idea. So this skill you must have if you wanna be famous architect. You should sell me your idea. This is a way. Presentation is most nervous part of your skill because you should believe in yourself, in your model or idea too. This skill you can get in uni. Start there, don't be shy. Represent your model like it's your final chance to get success. Even if your idea has some problems, try to turn around in your sight. Facebook, Behance, LinkedIn, all of these social media will give you a lot of the opportunities. You can get clients, some connections, or you can just represent your work. Yes, this is media will give you a chance to get your part of the pie. You can post your work on Instagram or YouTube. Try to post the best one. Show your skills to the world, but be ready to do some critics. This is important to you. Do not be angry. Try to learn something from the critics. You want to present your work but you didn't find the best one join some competition and do the best you may lose it but anyway you will get some experience your portfolio will grow up and uh, if you will be in the one day in the short list it will bring you a lot of the benefits in internet you will find a lot of the websites where you can see competitions for the architects and the rules for that go and try it Okay, now you are an architect, but you shouldn't not to rest. The site analysis most for hard part. This time to use all your knowledge, it's really hard. You need to do research. Use all tools which you know. This will bring you the best idea for your design. Find some architect websites. Go to the profile resources. You need to get some source information. Create your own library. Friends, this is important to understand what is popular now in architect. Do not copy it, try follow basic idea, but at the same time keep your unique way. Remember, your idea should have some futures. Think about it, but do not forget to check the trends. This is will help you always be fresh in the market. If you want to rest in the same time you wanna learn something, you can watch some movies or play some video games. For example, you like the Netflix, so use it at 100%. There are a lot of the shows about the architecture, design and other things. Even you will find here the movie about the Bjarke Ingels, founder of the big architect. So that's my advice for you. If you have some more advices, let me know below the comments. Share this video. I hope it will help you in your architect way. Do not stop learn. See you.